Okay, I think I got the perfect thing for a pointer here. Yeah, it's fantastic. So we'll, we'll put this vertically in line with the shaft. So it's marking the very top. On the assumption that that's where we should be taking this measurement. So and here we go. So based on that, we're at 45. 145. And where are we supposed to be? We're supposed to be 152. All right, yeah, 152, 21.5. Well, see, we're, at, we're not at 21.5 yet. Well, let's go find out where 21.5 goes. I'm going to play the uh, chase the signal game. Turn it up slightly and then find it. Up slightly. lost it. How did I lose it? Give me a little more power here so we can't lose it. Going up. So I kind of hopscotch my way up there. I mean, that makes any sense to anybody. Signal generator up, tuning up. And I hear it go by each time. Uh, 21.36. 21.46. 21.47. 21.48. 21.49. 21.50. 21.51. 21.52. 21.53. 21.54. 21.55. 21.56. 21.57. 21.58. 21.59. 21.60. 21.61. 21.62. 21.63. 
So this camera is sitting right on top of C12. So we're going to move it around to the front again. It's really the eye we want to keep our eye on. And C12 right there. So let's give it a go. Let's see what happens. Before I do this, I have to make sure the radio is tuned absolutely maximum here. Wow. That's pretty good. Let me cut it back a little bit. It might be easier to do. Uh, There we go. Okay, I heard he had to move it. C12, so that's this guy right here. Watching now? Ah, it didn't make any different noise with those. What happened? It disappeared almost. What's going on there? may be gone. It's not behaving quite the way I would want it. This is kind of weird. It's as if the, um, you know, when I turn the screw, it releases pressure on the plates on the capacitor here. But it, it's like they're not moving uh, in accordance with the screw. They seem to have a mind of their own. Never encountered that before, I don't think. And now I push them down, they're not coming back up. Oh, there they go. You know, I'm not really getting the, you know, I can't cross the resonant point from side to side and then zero in on it. I'm just turning at one limit. I think we're very close to it, though. Pushing a little on it now. You see a little increase. Let's see if I can get that from closing it. No. So we see that I'm turning it back, 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 and then bonk. And it comes. Hmm. sure how that went. Certainly didn't go the way you'd want it to go. Let's try C4. C4. You know, they call that C12 the detector. C4 is just the next one over. Wait a minute. C4 is the antenna. So it must be the oscillator detector antenna. Okay, here we go. Let's hope this one works a little better. Ooh, nothing. There you are, way down there it goes. Uh, I don't like that at all. I guess we never make those adjustments again. They're being done on the high band, and then they're never made again. That's correct. Wow, so that's affecting the whole radio, all the bands, these adjustments. Hmm. Well, I really don't know what else to do to uh, to wake those up and make them work better. Uh, I'm not sure it's dirt that's causing the problem. I think literally the, the springiness of the parts in the trimmer capacitor is just not springing anymore. Come to think of it, I'm not springing so much anymore either. So maybe that's understandable when you get to be as old as this radio here, which is quite a bit older than me. on to the next thing. The next thing is we tune to the other end of the band. 
No, we don't. We go on to the uh, different different bands. We go to the 19 meter band. And we dial up 15.2. switch and we've lost the signal a little bit. So be a little more careful about that band switch. Okay, well anyway. Now I'm still on the top band because I got worried there about the band switch. Go down a band. Okay. So this would be the 19 meter band still up at the high end, so we should be able to, oh, this is in the middle now, 94 degrees, we use 15.2, 94 degrees, come on around here. That funny mark there. Instead of saying 90, it's got this. Uh, this one over here too. Interesting. It has to do with those holes that are. Uh, see some kind of an alignment thing when they were spraying on the uh, the paint for this decal, this uh, this thing here. This must have been the registration uh, marks. They didn't take a lot of care, did they? Okay, so 94 puts us right here. No, that's 84. 90, 94. Right there. Oops. Exact 94. Now I should be able. Coming around here again. Should be able to tune in. What frequency was I just looking at the sheet here? It's 15.8. 15.8. So we'll give that a try. Here we come. Okay, so that's 16.1 in fact, quite a ways off of the, uh, well not quite a ways, but it's off from the 15.8. So what we need to do is move L13, L13 is this one, move there, see if it's affected by metal. So we're going to play Chase with that. And, uh, I think I'm going to change this camera here. Stick it like that. Let's at least get a little bit of level. 
good enough. So I'm going to turn that adjuster and I'm going to change the frequency of the signal generator until we finally meet up at 15.8. So first, what I do is I drop the signal generator towards where I want to go. Okay, that's dropped. Now I find it. There it is. And we just keep going. Okay, so that's adjusted now. And there we go to the next band. Uh, and we dial in 11 point, oh boy. It's either an 8 or a 5, I think it's a 5. So 11.5 on the next band. Okay, let's go down, band. to 11.5 Okay, I'll double check the tuning that I didn't blow it here. Hold on, got camera wires all tangled up. view of this thing here. It's not quite on the money, is it? Don't fall in there, Mr. Camera. Okay. See, that looks like 94. I mean, look at it. It hardly makes a difference. So, put her there. Let's turn back the signal a bit. So our current frequency is, can you still see it? No, now you're looking at the time. Turn my signal generator output a little low. There we go. So we want that 11.8 to actually say, oh that's interesting isn't it? It's tuned to 11.8. Now when I look at this sheet, Point eight or point five. So where am I here? I'm totally lost on the page. There. Twenty six meters, or twenty five meters rather, even that's hard to see. Right in the center there. Fifteen no eleven point It's like a five on the top and an eight on the bottom. Boy, even looking at it like this, I can't tell for sure what it what it is. Hey, look at the degree setting. It's different. Ninety nine. I think it's a 5. I think it's 11.5 at 99 degrees. And that's what I'm going to say. 11.5 at 99. So i got to go back here. 99. I 
79, 11.5. Let's see where we are now. Well, that didn't change much. 11.8. I think that should be 11.5. I'm still looking at the numbers on the page here to try to figure out if that's a 5 or an 8. I'm going to go with 8. I decided to go with 8. Is that, that's roughly where it is now. Eleven point eight. What are we adjusting? It's not far off anyway. Eleven point eight, and we're adjusting L fourteen. L fourteen is this one. Yep. And we're heading for eleven point eight. So we want a game. Play the chase game. Eleven point eight. That's hardly an adjustment. Hardly an adjustment. Okay, next thing. We go to the next band. See, I don't know how you could do these these particular adjustments without the instructions. Um, you can you can do the IF without instructions. I'm pretty sure anybody anybody who does this kind of stuff could do that. But the rest of it? I'm not so sure. So now we're on the 31 meter band. We should be at 73 degrees. Seventy-three degrees. Seventy-three. Okay. And in this case, we are tuning in seventeen nine point five five zero. 9.550. Okay. So that's where it is now. 9.5, almost 9.600. 9.6. We want it at 9.55. So about 40 kilocycles away. And we adjust. We have two adjustments on. We have three adjustments on this. First one is L15 oscillator. L15 is this one. I think so. So that, so that one we will move this so it's showing the correct frequency. Now, are we 11? Da, 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 da. Hope I'm not babbling too much while I do this. 9.55. So I get the 9.55. So there we go. Okay, so that's the oscillator. Now we'll see if we can get the sensitivity up with C17 on the detector. C17. Okay, so C17. Now how am I supposed to adjust that? 
Okay, so here's what the C-17 looks like. That shaft sticking up there has a little hole in it. That's curious. They may have just the tool for sticking in that hole there and turning that thing. Okay, so I gotta. Frequency stays the same. And we're just turning that in order to peak it. Okay, so here we go. Oh, it's not turning. Ooh. Maybe I'm mistaken about what that is. It does not want to turn at all. Just wiggling it. Oh, here it comes, coming free. Just working it back and forth very gently. It's come free now, but what's it doing? Oh, there's something going on there, isn't there? doing much at all. That worries me. Maybe it's broken. It may not be actually turning the adjustment. I mean I got on the, on the wrong adjustment. There is no other adjustments. That has to be it. Thirty one meter detector. Well, we're not getting any change, so we'll move on to the next thing, which is uh, C8. Uh, C, C8. Where is C8? Oh, there it is. Oh, my gosh. C8. 31 meter antenna adjustment. I'll show you where that one is. There it is. Okay, so very hard to see in the dark here. Um, this guy. So put my tool in it. Okay. Oh, it's stuck too. Oh, there it goes. Okay, now let's see what's going on with the adjustment. I should knock down the signal strength here. Okay. Not doing anything. That's two of these adjustments not doing anything. Something something I'm doing something wrong. Okay. Hmm. Hey, anybody watched Jeopardy last night where one of the questions was uh, it's the sound you make when you're thinking. And the answer was, what is hmm? <laughs> That's a sound I make quite a bit. Uh, let's see, so... C8. Well, I don't think there's any doubt. I'm doing everything right here. 9.5 megacycles. I don't know. You know. Unless I'm supposed to turn those things many, many rotations to get a, a change. I think I'm just going to leave it. I mean, we can hear the radio working. So, uh, now, oh, things are getting a little complicated here. Let me just stop and uh, read the instructions carefully.